recorded. Um, so I'm going to share my screen with you um, and I'll show you a couple things and tips. I don't know if you guys have done any Google Meets before, um, but um, so that way you kind of see about Google, okay? Um, so let me take and share my screen real quick. And you'll notice that you see me on two spots. I'm logged into my husband's as well, so I can kind of watch the chat too. Um, but if there's something that goes into the chat and I'm not recognizing it or I'm not noticing it, um, you guys got to kind of let me know, okay? Um, did we have anybody else just show up? Who's, who else came? I'm missing people. Um, let's see. No, I got everybody. Okay. What do you need, sweetheart? Hey. Oh. I have a visitor. <laughs> All right. So you guys are seeing my screen right now, right? Everybody, everybody see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So you should be seeing a weird screen with all kinds of stuff on it, or right? with you guys again, right? Um, so what you, I'm going to show you in here a couple of things. Okay. I don't know if you got that you can get the grid view, or do you guys only have four people? Um, I have a grid view. Okay. So I can I have a little extension thing. All right, so if you come down here to more options, you can come down here to where it says change layout and you can get it. So either it's tiled like I'm seeing, I'm seeing everybody now, or it's a sidebar or it's a spotlight. I recommend when I'm presenting to either do the sidebar or the spotlight. Um, so that way you can see my entire screen. It'll be bigger for you rather than me being in just a little tiny square. Okay, what do you need? Mm. Go to your math homework. Mm. All right, stinks when your mom's a math teacher. All right. Um, the other thing I just want to go over, you guys are probably all fine. Kind of some ground rules. I didn't send this out to the whole class, but obviously you should be wearing clothing, especially if your camera is on. Um, and I do appreciate your camera being on. I like seeing your faces. Um, any comments that we put into the comment section or we say verbally should be school appropriate. Um, if there's a lot, we're going to go ahead without the mute today, but if there's a lot of noise in the background, put it on mute unless you want to talk. Okay. And I'm okay with you interrupting a little bit. Um, type all the, you can type your questions into the comment section and then be patient because remember we're all learning this. I'm getting a little bit better. Okay. Um, but, uh, we are, uh, it's a process. Okay. All right. Um, you guys are have a better percentage of screens on everybody's on awesome. Cause my calculus class, they all want to hide. All right. Um, the, uh, they, they worried about messy bedrooms. You should see my house. This is the neatest place in the whole house. So, all right. Um, so my goal is, well, first of all, um, oh, okay. What I want to do is, um, get you guys ready for doing a retest. Okay. And we said, we're going to do the retest. We're just going to replace the score. Okay. But the way we're going to test is through Kahoot. All right. Um, we're going to practice that on Monday session, practice doing a Kahoot through, um, through Google meets. Okay. So you'll need two things. You'll need like two devices or you'll need to understand how to split your screen. And I'll send out a video on how to split your screen if you don't know how to do that. Okay. Um, so, but you could run the Kahoot off your phone and have the, and have the um, Google meet up on your, um, on your Chromebook or laptop or whatever, um, or vice versa. Um, or you can do the split screen. Um, the questions, the difference between our normal tests and this will, your questions will be timed. You'll have no more than two minutes because that's all that, um, Google or all that, um, Kahoot will allow us to do on most of those questions. I'll make sure that it's a two minute question. I'll tell you on the ones we're going through that I'll have to adjust the question a little bit because it's the word problem. Okay. And we'll probably put in more questions than there are, um, whatchamacallit, than there are problems. So as soon as you earn 10, I'm going to replace that as 100%. Okay. That doesn't mean stop, keep playing, just in case you're getting something wrong. Okay. Um, so we'll probably do like 20 questions. Um, the, uh, what else is it going to tell you about the test? I can't remember. I'm sure it'll come up. Okay. So I've been playing with something a little bit different. I've been using uh, OneNote a little bit to present. So I'm going to try to play with that today with you guys. Um, the, oh, that's not you guys though. That is calculus. Let me get a trick. That looks a little bit better. Okay. All right, and the other thing you guys, you should know, don't freak out about going to calculus next year. We are uh, totally gonna take care of you, okay? So we're gonna do the best we can to do a little bit um, this year. And um, then we're going to, uh, whatchamacallit, we're gonna get you caught up. I'm gonna sp spend the first two weeks doing any trig that we need for calculus, okay? But I'm gonna try to do a little bit of that virtually as some enrichment, okay? Um, you're gonna notice, I'm gonna put this, my. My, first, my original screen down the screen that I'm sharing. So it's gonna look like you can see my ceiling and I'm sorry about that, but it's easier for me to write, okay? All right, 
So this was question one. I kind of republished things um, the other day. So, um, and I'm sorry that that power school has been terrible. So I won't be using power school is going to die next year. We're not going to use it. So we're going to use something else. Probably not Google Classroom though, because I'm not a fan of that either. Um, but for now, we're just going to go through it, um, this. I made it into a Google um, form for you guys at least to fill in answers if you hadn't got it submitted before power school died. All right, so the first question says, which of the following best describes the transformations uh, of f of x equals 5x to f of x equals 5 to the x plus 2 minus 3? Okay, so you guys know that we had two different types of movements. Well, we have three, right? We have a reflection. What needs to be, what does a reflection look like? Anybody can answer. There's only nine of them, eight of us. What has to be in there for a reflection to happen? Um, What's missing? I'm sure there has to be a negative or a positive in front of the light yes, switch. That's right. The the thank you for being brave and answering. Okay. Um, there has to be a negative or positive in front. Do we have a negative or positive in front there? As far as switching goes, no. No. Okay. So we know that it can't be the two that say reflection, right? Um, and then the shifting, remember, at, it, it's, if it's up in the exponent, it's shifting on the x. And if it's down on the, uh, or if it's outside of the exponent in the in the exponentials case, it's shifting on the y. So this is going to be an x shift. Okay. All right. And if it's an x shift, remember what do we have to do to the sign? Flip it. Like it we got to flip it. Right? So on an x shift, we know that it's really a shift going in the negative direction, right? And in the negative direction is to the left. So we really have a shift that is left to, okay? So we know that it's probably not that one, okay? And then this right here is a shift up and down. So when it's negative like that, we know it's a shift down. Oops, disappearing. Down three, okay? So it's definitely answer choice B. Um, and just to, well, you'll see on Monday, but your warning on Kahoot, you no longer have to just be a multiple choice. So you can actually type into things. So be prepared that there's going to be some, some trick you want just might, might not just be picking an answer. Okay. All right. This is the one right here that um, I think is going to, I'm going to have to re redo how we do this one to get you guys to be able to do it in two minutes. But if you guys practice, 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 you should be able to do it, do the questions in two minutes. Okay, because it's not going to, it's not that hard. Um, it's also, you don't have to worry about having, you can have your notes out, you can have whatever you're writing this down out. Um, I would have these two formulas written out. So we're keeping it open note, open book, all that kind of stuff. Okay, because we're not going to, you, you would probably do it anyways, right? Um, <laughs> hopefully you wouldn't. Hopefully you'd be honest with it. But, um, all right, so we've got Timmy. I like to think he's Timmy Titan, but as seven has seven thousand dollars to put into a savings account so that is what we call remember the principal okay. it's a different let me get back to here venue i want all right um so we've got timmy he's got seven thousand dollars he's going to put into the savings account um he is trying to find the best bank to make the most profit of his money after nine years so that's our time right there is nine right um he has a choice of the bank of talkwitz or the titan credit union at the bank of Talkwitz, he would earn a rate of 5%. Remember, on rates, we have to switch it to decimal point. And then the Titan credit, you know, oh, this is monthly compound. How many compounds is that if it's in the month? 12. 12. 12 compounds. Good job. All right. The Titan credit union offers a rate of 3%. Okay, so 0 0.03 and compounds continuously, which apparently I have spelled wrong. Um, continuously remember that's when we use the PERT formula. Okay, we'll write down both formulas here in a second. Which bank should Timmy, Timmy choose, which I didn't get a question mark on, and we have to explain it using mathematics. We're not going to be able to do that explanation as much as well on this on Kahoot, but um, we're going to do the best we can to, to teach you how to do it properly right now. Okay, so first of all, we've got, um, let's do the Bank of Talkwitz first, okay? So Bank of Talkwitz, when we do this one, we want the formula A equals P times one plus R over N to the NT power, okay? That's your compounds. Remember, the other thing you might wanna have a list of is all the number of compounds, okay? Um, so remember, like, um, if it's daily, it's 365 is your N, right? 
Um, if it's weekly, there's 52 weeks in a year, okay? Um, monthly, you guys told me is 12. Um, what else may I do? Um, sometimes it says biannually. That's two. I, there was a list of them somewhere in your notes. So you can have that note page in front of you if you want. Okay. All right. So um, I'm looking for the amount. I'm not trying to have to solve this backwards. Um, the principal, okay, was how much? 7,000. 7,000. Thank you, Colin. So 7,000 times one plus, and then the rate that went with the bank of Talkwitz was the point zero. oops, I shouldn't be putting that there, I need to make a fraction. All right, is the 0 0.05 over um, the number of compounds, which we said here was a monthly was 12, to the, and then the NT power. Um, so the N is the 12 again, and the time was up here, it's the nine years, okay? Um, if we did this to you, you'd want Desmos, you'd want a calculator in front of you or something. Um, we may just say put it in, the, maybe if, just get it plugged into the formula or something. But um, you can use Desmos. You can also download Desmos for your phone or you can have a tab open for Desmos. Um, but you're going to have to be quick to get that in. So that would definitely be you got to do this in two minutes or less. Okay, just like half of this problem. Um, so when I did put that in my calculator, I got something around 10,967 and 93 cents. Okay. All right. The next one, um, it, or the next half of this. Okay. So we have to do the other half because we have to decide, do the Titan credit union and compare it. Okay. So the Titan credit union is continuous. So we know we have to use the EA equals E or A equals PE to the RT. Okay. And the principal, again, 7,000, okay, E. And then the rate on this one was this 3%, so 0 0.03. And then the T, it, or not T, or yes, the T is nine again, okay. And again, you hit the buttons on the calculator. I ended up with $9,169.75, okay. So, um, which bank should Timmy choose? Uh, explain you. So if we're actually wanting the most profit, we would probably want to choose the um, bank of Talkwitz because he made more money. So I would write it something like this. Timmy should choose the bank of Talkwitz because he makes... And then I don't know what the amount is. I would probably do the amount. I would subtract those numbers. I don't have that written number written down, nor do I have a calculator accessible enough in front of me. Six, nine point seven five. Whatever that number is, fill in that blank at the Bank of Talkwitz. Bank of Talkwitz. Okay. Obviously, that's the proper way to do it. This is more like what we would want to see for the S back. That's why that question is there. We're going to have to reformat it, but basically you need to know this calculation and how to do that calculation quickly. You got to practice, practice, practice. Okay. Um, get Desmos out, practice putting it into Desmos. Get your, if you have a scientific, put it in there. If you have a graphing or you have a sibling that had a graphing, get that out and put it in there. Okay. And make sure you're, ca and use these numbers because you know these ones are right and make sure you're accurate. Okay. All right. Number three, um, let's see. So we've got to rewrite this as an exponential, all right? So this is one where we know we have to do what Mrs. Ballard called the log loop, okay? So that means I have to take, this is becomes the base, and then I'm gonna take these guys and loop them around. So I'm gonna keep my two as my base, and then I'm gonna make the four as the exponent equals 16. If you hear or you're sitting on anything from Mrs. Rondo, she'd say it's the swirly, okay, if that makes more sense to you. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Literally like, you should be able to do that in like 10 seconds. I shouldn't need to give you two minutes, okay? Reading code for this? Yeah. <laughs> I have to email it to you, I'm busy. Do uh -huh. <laughs> your work. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, we're going to use the properties of logarithms to simplify. There was a big key thing. What do we know about E and the natural log? 
They cancel out? They cancel out, yes. So all this super easy. You should take like three seconds to answer that one. It's gotta be 12. Okay, make sense? All right, this should have been like the easiest test ever. And I was both Mrs. Rondo and I were super sad. You guys were so ready to do it. And then the next day we were, and we were gone. So at least we got to end with Pi Day. All right, <laughs> on this one, we had the exact value. Okay, so we have to actually come up with, it's gonna be a numeric answer that you have to turn that into. So it's almost kind of out of order. We should almost practice condensing before we do this one, but that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna condense first. Okay. Um, so when I have, oh, I'm missing something. It should have been an 81 right there. Um, uh, when I have a subtraction like that, um, I need to, um, what do I have to do to get it together? What does it turn into? Division. Division, good job. Okay, so we're gonna turn the subtraction into division. So I've got three divided by 81. Okay. All right, and there's a couple of ways I could do this. I'm choosing to condense it first. Now, that's some math we could reduce. So we would say log base eight. I know that three goes into 81 27 times. So I really got one over 27. As three goes into itself one time. Um, my goal now, what happened? Those aren't eights. That's my poor, I keep my poor vision apparently. Those are threes. Let's go with three, okay? All right, um, my goal now is to get the number here and the number here to match, because we learned just like in the, in the natural log, if those if this base and the base here match, we, can, we get to cancel them, okay? So that gets us more of a numeric answer. So I know another name for 27 is three cubed, okay? The problem is I need this to be upstairs. So we have to use properties of exponents. So we're gonna go log base three of three to the negative three power. Now I have log base three of three. I know that that gets to go away by our properties. And my final answer is negative three. Again, that one I would probably give you a good two minutes on in Kahoot because if that's going to take some manipulation. You're going to have to write it down. Okay. And remember in Kahoot, you're not, I mean, yes, there'll be a winner, right? But you want to make sure you're being accurate because that's how your test is being scored. Okay, so I'm not promoting the competition part of Kahoot. We're just using that as a mechanism to be able to get you tested and to be able to time you on the test a little bit. Um, so you're not using photo math. Okay, don't do it. Right. Um, okay. Uh, number six says that we need to condense it. Okay. Um, and my problem's a little off there. Um, it, it should be log of A minus one half log of B minus three log C. So if I am, you guys already told me when I have subtraction, um, I need to turn that into division. So anything that's after the subtract sign gets turned into division. But before I do that, I need to move my exponent. So if I have a coefficient in front, we need to make that an exponent first. That's kind of like step one. So I would say log of A minus log of b to the one half minus three. Oh, I need to move that three up too, huh? Let me do that. All right, this one. Uh, log uh, of c to the third, okay? Now, I am going to, I know if there's a subtra anything after the subtraction sign goes downstairs. Remember when we write the log, there's only one log when we condense. So we don't write the three, we write one. Um, we have A on the top, and then we'd have B on the bottom to the one half, and C on the bottom to the one half. Perfectly good answer. However, we could also convert that one half power back into a radical. And it's so it's entirely possible just because you got the right answer doesn't mean that might not be the answer that appears. We have square root of B, C cubed could be an answer. So both of those are good answers for condensing. I'll give you a minute there. Again, I'd probably make that a two minute question. All right, we'll go to the next one. So this one says we have to expand, so we've got to do the opposite this time. All right, and again, anything with a log and a natural log works the same way. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna get this exponent distributed in a little bit. Um, so we've got the natural log of r to the fifth, s to the fifth, okay? 
um, when we, this time it's under multiplication, what does multiplication turn into? Addition. Addition, there we go. So you got the natural log of r to the fifth, and when we expand, we put the logs back in. So the natural log of s, that's an s, to the fifth. It's using my handwriting better now. <laughs> got a fancy new way to do this. So, all right, and then when we expand, we don't leave any exponents, so we need to take both of these guys, we need to throw them back in front. So it is um, five natural log of r, plus five natural log of S. All right, we good? That one maybe not two minutes, maybe a minute and a half, right? It's not bad, that one shouldn't be that bad. I'll probably still give you two minutes. All right, uh, you might not get as many possibilities. Kahoot only lets us do four, so if I did something that was like this, um, I would probably only give you four choices. Um, so which of the following are equivalent to um, log base four of 256? Another good way to ask this question is I could ask it are not equivalent and then there's one answer versus, although Kahoot will let us do multiple choice, multiple check marks. We might be able to do multiple checks, okay? All right, um, so we basically this is the one that was, if you look in your notes, it's change of base. It's kind of the only way we test it is a question like this. So remember, it's log of the big one over log of the base. So log of the big number over log of the base. Well, there's a lot of ways I could do that. I can see that this answer here is that. But I don't have to use regular log. I could use natural log. So natural log of 256 over natural log of 4. Okay. So I see that one. I also see some numbers, meaning I can probably simplify that thing. So I'm gonna do some other work over here. Log base four of 256. I can probably, remember how we did the base and the base being the same here and they cancel? I can probably write 256 as something to the, as four to some power, happens to be four to the fourth power. So when I'm so I'm substituting the four to the fourth in for the two fifty six. So we know these guys cancel, and my final answer is four. So there's actually three in this particular case. There's three correct answer choices. That's one of the kind of cool things about logs is we can manipulate helps us manipulate equations in a lot of different ways. Okay, um, and that will come into play next year in calculus. Okay, all right. We got one more problem. We're already almost done. Um, I had to change this one up. Um, because of the nature of the graphs that were in there, um, it was not being very nice for me to put it into a Google um, into a Google form um, last night when I was I was struggling with it. So I just changed it to this, and basically talk, having to pick the equation that shifts, kind of like we did at the beginning of the of the um, lesson here. So which of the following equations is a shift of two right of the equation below? So remember, a right shift is in the exponent. It's with the x, right? Um, and then an up-down shift is not with the x. So I would probably try to rewrite it out myself. So y equals e to the x, and it has to be in the exponent. Right means we're going in the positive direction, but we switch the sign, so it's got to be minus 2. So it's got to be this one right here. Um, there is a possibility when you do the Kahoot as well. We're probably going to want you to take a picture of your work and upload it. So through, like use your phone and we'll have a Google form or something we put to make, make you take a picture of your work with, okay? All right, that's it for what could possibly be, I mean, we could redo the questions and spit number, other numbers in there, but that's kind of the expectation for what we're gonna replace this test with. Are there any questions, comments, concerns? Um, so since you said that the Kahoot is gonna be about, um, 20 questions, do you think, there's, so there's gonna be like two of each question, you think? Probably or? about two of each. Um, like this one up here, that one, I'm gonna have to split that into a couple of questions, right? So, yeah, yeah so I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna manipulate it so that, you know, obviously that's a little bit harder one. I might make the harder ones, a might put a couple extra of the harder ones in and not as many of the easy ones in, but I would expect about two of each type of question. Okay. Any other questions, concerns? I say Jesus is here. Jesus joined us, awesome. All right, um, so 
Are there any other questions, comments, concerns about anything school related, anything in the class? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I gotta get back to, where is it at? This guy here. All right. Um, you're presenting, I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, any other questions um, that you guys have about school, your grades, um, how we're gonna do class from now on? Any questions? That one. That, that one. Fun. How are we going to do class? Okay, so here's my plan. This is what's in my head right now, okay? Um, Rondo and I haven't completely talked about it. We just want to get you guys some extra test points in there for the triad, and the best thing was to do this one retest, okay? You hadn't had an opportunity to retest. We figured that's fair. Um, my vision is we, we had that other part of logs. We might do the same thing next week after we take this one. Let's sit down, let's redo that one, and let's do maybe another Kahoot on that one and put some extra test points in. I cannot count them against you, okay? It would only be what we call enrichment points, which is basically a fancy word for extra credit, okay? Um, we kind of decided this morning as a department, we're gonna let that extra credit get as high as you can. If your grade is 1,000% by the end of the semester, it's 1,000% by the end of the semester, okay? Um, so after that, um, what we haven't covered is trig. And for calculus, that's super important. I'm obviously, I have what, seven of you here today, right? Um, so I have seven of you ready to maybe learn some trig, okay? I'm gonna have to recover trig a little bit in the fall, all right? At least enough of it that um, you guys are gonna be good enough on it for calculus, okay? And I know exactly where you're coming from, so we're not worried about AP Calc next year. Um, but what we might, what we'll do is we'll do, we'll do some more enrichment stuff like that. Maybe I'll teach a lesson live. You guys, the bonus is you guys have your notebooks. So we can still run right out of your notebooks. Okay. So I can teach those lessons live. We can video them. I can post video notes. I can ask quite, we can, we can assign assignments and then they they become enrichment, right? And you guys get to use it as um, extra points in your grade towards your grade. Okay. So I don't want to totally leave you hanging. Um, where I'm kind of at with my classes is calculus is super, super high priority right now. Be and not because I don't love you guys, because um, the because of their AP test coming up. But especially after May 11th or May 12th, that's when their test is, I can really ramp you guys up. So I'm thinking like maybe once or twice a week we get on and do a few lessons here and there live. And then I post and give you guys some assignments. Um, and then you guys can always email me a question. I put out the remind stuff so that lets you text me a question. Um, I'm pretty much on my phone all day and ignoring my children um, at this point now. So, um, but you know, they're getting good. Ellie's supposed to be doing homeschool right now. She's done no work today. So, yep, yeah. yeah, she's over there listening. She's uh, she's in here trying, she's in here trying. This room that I'm in, it was used to be, we used to look like a storage unit as we just shove everything in here, right? Um, about a year ago, I got it before, well, before I had Davy, two years ago, I got it down to, like, I got it all cleared out, and then I went into labor, um, literally that day, when I hit the end of the room, and then, um, so we, but I told my husband I wanted a she shed, right, because we weren't doing, so I, I love to quilt, I haven't quilted in about 12 years since Ellie has been born, um, but all my fabric is behind me, so this is the nicest wall in the entire house, the rest of the house does not look like this, so. I got your wall. No, you're still, your your bedroom is still a mess. So just like every other teenagers in, or every other kids in the entire world. So, yeah, so, yeah. So anyway, so we are, uh, this is our, this is the fancy room. Most of the rest of the house does not look that neat. So, and you've seen my desk at school. So you must know that my house is not that neat. All right. Okay. So any other questions? All right. Awesome. So I'm going to let you guys go. Okay. So C class got out, let out early and I can do that because they aren't going to, you know, get you for a pass or anything like that. Okay. All right. So I will see you all on Monday. Spread the word to your friends. Get them here. Okay. Because it's important that we all get our grades up. Okay. Awesome. All right. And you hope, don't forget homework due at five. Okay. You can still do that, by the way, after today. It's just I have to have a cutoff so I can get it put in the computer. Okay. So can, you can still work on it. Try at six. Okay. Sound good? All right. It was nice seeing everybody. I'm going to shut it all off. See you guys on Monday. Yeah.